Uh, next week, Rugby Roots will return with uh, referee Wayne Barnes in the spotlight, actually. This Sunday, he'll be in charge in Marseille, though. As Munster take on the defending champions too long, we'll concentrate on that game after the break when Ian Keatley will be hoping to stay on the right side of the referee. Keatley just changing his option and kicking the ball straight at Wayne Barnes. Ooh, full in the face. I remember after I did it, I went in and apologised to him, so I think he was a little bit dazed, but he, I think he still remembers who hit him in the face with that ball, so uh, Wayne, sorry again about that. So. In a moment or two, but first of all, what do we know of Munster's outside half? Well, his teammates Felix Jones, Conor Murray and Tommy O'Donnell help us find out, but Ian Keatley was born in Dublin and was a member of the Leinster Academy, but headed west as a teenager to play for Connacht. Now in his third season with Munster, and at the grand old age of 27, he's finally stepping into the spotlight and into the boots of a past master. I'm just trying to concentrate on my own game. Like, I'm not trying to be Ron Nogara, I'm, I'm trying to be Ian Keatley. There's obviously a lot of pressure with that coming in behind someone like that. Obviously a legend in, in Munster in Ireland, but in fairness to Keats, he, he stuck to the his own way of playing and, and he sees the game his own way. I'm trying to bring my, stop my own mark on, on Munster Rugby and uh, I think I'm achieving that a bit this year. He's, he's a nice way of, uh, of letting you know what he wants, which is a little bit different to Raj. I've been here three years and love every moment of it and um, I want to win stuff for Munster and um, Munster is my home now. So. <laughs> See when I was at Leinster, like, that's where my family's from and, uh, that's where my friends are. You have to admire his bravery when he decided to leave Leinster because they were on the up and up. Well, when I moved to Connacht, um, Connacht gave me my opportunity, my chance to, to play. It took balls to leave at that age, you know, and he, and he went, uh, I think at 19, he went down, 1920 or whatever it was, went down to Connacht and, uh, you know, really kind of, um, you know, had to work very hard down there and um, he was one of, their, one of their best players for years. And, Now I'm with Munster and it's another step up and I, I want to win stuff for Munster. I want to I win, win a Highland Cup, I want to win trophies and uh, that's why I'm here. We've sat down with a, a couple of your teammates this afternoon already. How do you think they're going to describe you? How do I want them to describe me or how did they describe me? <sighs> You'd hope we'd say he's a nice guy. Posh. 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 Small. Really small, really small person. Big nose. Massive nose. Big Massive nose. nose. Uh, I think when you meet him first, you're kind of shocked at like the size of his nose and yeah. the size of his He's legs. Like, I think does. HD does him favours on TV, you know, he probably stretches him out a bit. And yeah, he used to Then you meet him and he's, you're like... He used to have a scrum cap when we were in schools yeah. and I remember playing against him, I was like, what is this thing? <laughs> this, this massive thing coming out. <laughs> <laughs> and these giant legs, I was yeah. like, who is this it was guy? This front row playing, <laughs> yeah. half -life. I'll have my own payback someday. Well, it's nice that Ian Keatley and the Will have got so much in common. Oh, are you there? <laughs> I didn't, uh. <laughs>